Okay, so the point of this video today is we've bought a bunch of bottled waters and we're gonna go ahead and try them out today um, to figure out what their pH level actually um, actually is in each of these bottles. Some of them are advertised as having a higher pH than normal, as you can see on Essentia right there with the 9.5. Um, and others are just normal everyday bought waters. The one from Starbucks is in there, Trader Joe's brand, Zephyr Hills, Great Value, which is Walmart brand, Fiji, and at the end we have tap water. So we've got a lot of different ones to um, try out today, and we're just going to see exactly what their pH levels actually are. So um, I have some pH drops that we're going to use. We're going to put about three drops in each sample, and the darker blue or purple it is, the higher the pH level. And I'll show you on the bottle once we get those drops in there. Um, a green, which is 7, is neutral, and that's where it should be at, anything less than that. So if it turns out to be orange, yellowish, that's not good, and it means the water is acidic. So I'm going to have my assistants here get the drops going. Here, Jula, show the bottle to everybody. Okay, and you can see on there it has the different colors that we're going to match up at the end. So let's start down here with Icelandic, Icelandic Glacial. That advertises a pH of uh, 8.4. Are you putting three drops in there? Okay, let that sit for a minute. Let's go to the next one. We'll compare them in a minute. Um, this is Trader Joe's Alkaline Water and Electrolytes, pH of 9.5. Okay, great. So let's let's just compare these two right now. So let's see. It's around a... Neutral. That's about neutral right there. That matches the green right there. So Icelandic claims to be over an 8, but right now it's measuring 7. Um, Trader Joe's electrolyte plus water, that's definitely, what number is that color? What number is that's that one? That's an 8. That's an 8, maybe a 8.5 on that one. So that's really good for Trader Joe's because they advertise 9.5. So that's the color we're shooting for right there. All right, let's try Essentia. That's darker. Yep, that's even darker than the Trader Joe's one. So that's a great color. Okay, let's go to Voss. Oh, oh, oh not good. It's around a... Not good. Five and a six. What is it at? It's around a five, five. and a six. That's not even six, that's a five. So that's a definitely an acidic water. It's a very expensive water too, so I would not be drinking that one. Interesting. All right, let's go to you, um, Eternal. Eternal. Oops. That's okay. That's Looking, comparing that to the other ones, that's a little bit darker than Icelandic, but that's, well, that's starting to turn blue. So that's definitely Smart. alkaline. Yeah. Smart water. That's good. Smart water. Let's see how good that one turns out. Whoa. That's not good. Not good that's, at all. That's worse than Voss. No, they're like the same. Yeah, you got to give it a minute to turn. But yeah, again, smart water that is ranking very low on the pH scale. So that, that is at an acidic level. Because remember, it's not even neutral until it hits green. And right now that's yellow. Let me see this bottle. Yeah. It's not even neutral. So that's a, it's at a five. Okay, where are we going now? Trader Joe's Mountain, Mountain Spring. Spring. Trader Joe's Natural Mountain Spring. That's um, probably a seven. Neutral. That's a seven. seven. Neutral? Yeah. Okay, that's not seven. bad because considering they Trader Joe's has a brand that they advertise as alkaline water with electrolytes specifically, but their natural spring water, at least it's neutral. Okay, let's try the Starbucks brand Ethos Water. That's not good. Not good. That Sorry, worse. Starbucks. That's worse. I think that's the worst one that's so worst far. One. Definitely the worst one so far. Wow. wow. Definitely. All right, Dasani. We drink this that. Gonna, and we drink oh. that Starbucks water. And they're all advertised Whoa, as purified or natural spring. It's definitely orange. Okay, Dasani, again, failing... Failing our test. Aquafina. Ooh, these are all bad. Negative. Horrible. Aquafina, very acidic. 
Wow, that's bad. Okay, let's go to Great Value Walmart brand purified drinking water. Still Garbage. Still the same. Zephyr Hills we drink. Garbage. All right, Zephyr, Zephyr Hills, Hills, this is, um, this is our, like, our brand in Florida. how many of these are, like, so acidic? Yeah, definitely no. Oh, it's not bad. Wow. That passes. What color is that on the chart? That is a Neutral. 8, kind of 8, 7, around 7.5. Yeah. Seven point. Oh, well, wait. That's almost an eight. That's almost an eight. eight. Not, yeah. yeah, almost an eight. That's definitely neutral, a little bit more on the alkaline side. PG. PG. Oh, it's dark. Oh, sorry. That's dark. That's around a eight. eight. Good job, Fiji. Well, it's from And some then this last one is. Tap water. Well, this it's is be Flor bad. Florida tap water. What? Florida tap water. <laughs> Definitely better than some of these bottled brands. Oh my gosh. That's like at Fiji's level. No, Fiji's a little bit darker, but it's definitely oh better. Gosh. It's better than Zephyr Hills. As far as ranking on the pH level, it's at an alkaline level. It's a little bit above neutral. So again, here's the here's the final results of these. Remember, you don't want to be drinking these yellow ones. The darker the blue, the better. Some of these bottles you don't want to be wasting your money on. You definitely want the Sanchia. That's good. So, remind you, this does not test fluoride levels or anything of that nature. This is strictly pH level. So you also want to check what the fluoride, if there's fluoride in any of these drinking waters. This was just for pH levels. All right. Thanks.